Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple navigation menu for your Blogger website. And we'll remove both of these icons from here. And we'll add a simple navigation bar over here for this Blogger theme. So let's get started. First of all, let's create the design using HTML and CSS and then we will add this to our blogger theme. So let's go ahead and create an HTML file over here. I have this project opened and I also have this images folder and in that I have this logo image which I'm going to use as the logo. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new file and we'll name it index.html and we'll create another file and we'll name it style.css alright so let's start with the index.html file I'm using this code editor called VS Code so you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this basic HTML5 code so here I will add the link of our style.css file now let's start with the markup of our navigation bar now this is gonna be a simple navigation bar we'll have a logo over here on the left and uh, menu items here on the right Maybe in the future I will create a video on how to create an advanced navigation bar. But for now let's stick with a simple navigation menu. So we'll create a division with a class my navigation container. And in that we'll have a nav element. And uh, first we'll have the image. So I'll just type img and in the src I'll type images slash logo dot png. And then for the menu items we'll create an unordered list. So here we'll type ul and in that we'll have list items and in the list items we'll have anchor tags and for the href I'll just type hash for now and uh, here we will add some menu items so I'll type about and uh, I'll just copy this list item a couple more times and for the next one we will type services and we'll type downloads and then we'll type contact so these are the menu items that we'll be having in our uh, navigation menu. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed on VS Code. So I'll just right click over here and click on Open with Live Server. So this is how it looks right now. We have the image and uh, the list items over here. Now let's style this. So let's go over here to style.css. First of all, let's reduce the height of the image. So I'll tap My navigation container img and uh, we'll also give it a class and we'll name it logo so that if you have any other image in our uh, nav element it won't be styled so here we'll type img dot logo so this will target the image with the class of logo and let's set the height to 48 pixels now let's style the nav element so here we will type my navigation container nav and uh, we will set the display to flex because we want the logo to be on the left and the menu items to be on the right and we will also give it a background color of 073b4c and we will set a width of 890 pixels and we may change it according to the width of this theme right here so for now let's keep it to 890 pixels and uh, I think we have to maximize this All right so let's bring it to the center so we'll have margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right so now it is in the center but we want the navigation bar to be fixed at the top so even if you scroll down the navigation bar should be at the top so for that you have to type position and you have to set the position to fixed now we can see that it has moved to the left so let's add the top position to 0, left to 0 and the right to 0. And now it is perfectly in the center and at the top. So even if we scroll down or up, this navigation bar will be fixed at this position. So let's add some more styles over here. We will add justify content to space between because uh, we want the logo to be on the extreme left and uh, the menu items to be on the extreme right. So we'll type justify content space between and we'll also center them vertically. So for that we have to type align items to center. I'll also change the font to Roboto. So we'll type font family 
Roboto Sans Serif. If you don't have this font on your system, you can download it from Google Fonts and you can install it. And for this theme, I already have this font installed, so I don't have to copy the link to my theme. I can directly use the font. All right now, let's target this uh, unordered list. Now, we don't want it to be one below the other. We want it to be one next to the other. So let's target that. We'll type my navigation container nav ul and we'll set the display to flex and now we can see that everything is one next to the other and uh, let's also remove these bullets from here so here we will type list style to none now let's add a background color and see what is the width of this uh, list item so this is now the width of this uh, unordered list we have some padding over here let's remove that all right now let's set a width of uh, 70 percent so i'll type width of 70 percent now we can see that it takes up 70 percent of uh, the width of this container division now for the list items we will give a width of 100 percent so here we'll type my navigation container nav ulli and we'll set the width to 100%. Now we can see that everything is uh, positioned correctly. So now let's remove this background color and uh, we will change the color of the text. So for that we will access the anchor tag. So my navigation container nav a. So this will target all the anchor tags. We'll first of all remove the underlines. So we'll type text decoration to none. And we'll set the color of the text to light gray and we'll also set the font weight to bold let's also add a border radius so we'll add rounded corners to this uh, navigation bar so here for the nav element we will add border radius and we'll add a border radius of 8 pixels and we can see that the border radius is applied over here but here because of the image it is not being displayed so let's add border radius to the image as well so border radius of 8 pixels i think we have to move it a little to the bottom so let's set a top position to let's say 16 pixels all right that looks fine now when we hover over these menu items we will change the color of the text so here we will type my navigation container nav a colon hover and we'll set the color of the text to ffd166 and we'll also add transition of all to 400 milliseconds for smooth animation now we can see that when we hover over this we have the change of the color we also add a basic responsiveness to this navigation bar so when we are less than 900 pixels we will set the width to 90 percent for the nav element so here we'll type at media max width of 900 pixels and we'll type my navigation container nav and we'll set the width to 90 percent so now we can see that when we are less than 900 pixels the width of the nav element is 90 percent and when we are more than that then the width stays to 890 pixels all right that's it now let's add this uh, navigation menu to our blogger website so let's go to the dashboard and uh, let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit html and first of all let's see what are the selectors for these two icons so that we can remove them using css so right click over here and click on inspect so here we can see we have this button with the class of hamburger menu so let's copy this and uh, let's go to the end of our css and uh, here we will add the css so i'll just add a comment and uh, here we can just type display to none let's also take a look at the other icon so right click over here and inspect and the other icon is called search 
so it is inside this division with the class of centered top so we'll target that centered top search we'll add that over here itself so i'll just add a comma and i'll type centered top search now in this theme when we scroll up we can see that we have this navigation bar so let's right click over here and inspect and see what is the selector of this navigation bar so here we can see that we have this header with a class of centered top container and uh, sticky so let's copy this selector from here and uh, let's add that over here as well so i'll add a comma and i'll just paste it over here now let's save it and uh, let's refresh the page and we can see that the icons are not being displayed and when we scroll up the heading is not being displayed and now it's time for us to add the navigation bar over here so while we are still here in the css let's add the css first so i'll just copy these and paste it over here and now let's go to the markup and we can paste the html anywhere because we have set the position to fixed so it will always be at the top so here after all these body classes i will just add the html for the navigation so i'll just copy this division and paste it over here now we have to upload the image somewhere and get the link but first of all let's save it and see whether it is working and it says that the image tag must be closed so let's add a forward slash over here and save it once more right now let's refresh our page and we can see that the navigation menu is being displayed over here but we have to set the z index to a higher value so that it will always be on the top right now it is behind the posts so let's go to the css so here for the nav element i'll just type z index of 600 and let's save it and now we can see that our navigation menu is being displayed over here and it is always on the top now we have to move this whole website down a little bit because of this navigation menu so let's right click and inspect and let's see which is the main division so we have this division with a class of centered so let's add a margin top we'll add margin top of 64 pixels and it also moves the background image so let's remove that we'll add it to this division called center top so we'll type margin top of 64 pixels right we can set it to 80 pixels so let's add margin top of 80 pixels to center top so here i'll just type margin top of 80 pixels and uh, let's save it now let's go into a post and uh, see whether everything is working all right so there's no problem over here as well now let's also quickly add the image so i'll go over here to pages and uh, i'll just create a new page and I'll just click on insert image upload from computer and then click on choose files and uh, here is our image let's select it and click on open and uh, let's select it and click on select original size and ok and let's copy this href from here and uh, let's go back to the theme and uh, let's go to our HTML and uh, let's paste the link over here and save and we can see that the image is being displayed over here now the only thing you need to do is just add the link of these pages over here so here in place of this hash you can add the link of the about page and here the link of the services page or whatever you have over here and in this way update all the links and then the navigation menu will work all right now this was a simple navigation menu i just wanted to show you how to add a navigation menu to your blogger theme Maybe in the future we'll make an advanced navigation menu with drop downs and things like that. But for now we'll just keep it simple and uh, I'll also leave the link of the source code in the description so you can just copy and paste. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.